Now, just a while ago, this French YouTuber named Jonathan, who's usually known for leaking all the upcoming Ubisoft games, and it seems like this dude just has someone that's working inside of Ubisoft that keeps giving him information, and he decides to go ahead and leak everything out in the public, and every time he does it, it's always 100% accurate. So Jonathan has now revealed that the upcoming next Far Cry game, which is going to be named as Far Cry 7, is going to be featuring Cillian Murphy as the villain of the game. And we also have the storyline of Far Cry 7 and it seems extremely interesting compared to all the other Far Cry games that we have played before because in this Far Cry 7 it seems like we're gonna be playing as a character named Murphy who visits an island as a tourist with his family and apparently things go wrong there and Cillian Murphy is gonna be the villain that kidnaps his entire family. Now as a protagonist you're fated to either save your family or let them die and escape the island. So I'm supposing that the game is gonna have multiple endings like all the other Far Cry games. Right now, you will have to choose between all the different family members on who to save and whom not to save. Now, you're only going to be having 72 hours in order to save your family because your family is going to be stripped to a time bomb that's going to be ticking all the way to 72 hours. And you need to complete all the missions of the main storyline and see where the story progresses. And after 72 hours, and you will be left with different options on who from your family would you like to save in this 72 two hours now of course when it comes to far cry games they're usually known for having different choices in the endings now, you can choose to save one of your family members and then leave the other one to die or they might be an option where you can save all the family members so it completely depends on what player choices are now it's very interesting that ubisoft is trying out something very different here now this game is apparently going to take place in some sort of an island now i don't think this is a real life compared island it's something that's just made for the game and apparently in this island we'll come across some very huge monsters as well. And something like this we've already seen in Far Cry 4 where we actually got to fight the huge tigers, all that really cool stuff in India. And now we're going to be fighting giant crabs as far as what the new latest leaks have been stating. It seems like we have Cillian Murphy on the first one and then 72 hours of clicking time bomb and then we have the giant monsters that we will be able to kill in the game. And then we have the classic Far Cry 7 logo. Now it seems like it's pretty much confirmed I trust Jonathan because all the leaks that this man has said before, including Assassin's Creed codename Red, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Valhalla, everything turned out to be true from Jonathan. So that's why I have very high hopes because whoever is giving him these informations are definitely from inside of Ubisoft. So I kind of have high hopes that Cillian Murphy is going to be playing as the villain. So it's absolutely fantastic. I'm a very huge fan of Cillian Murphy from the Peaky Blindness TV show. It's one of the best shows, my favorite of all time. And now getting to hear that Cillian is going to be playing as a villain of the next upcoming Far Cry game is just absolutely fantastic. Now, if you take a look at previous Far Cry games, Ubisoft is always known to be hiring some of the celebrities, actors in order to play as the villains of their game. With Far Cry 6 having Gain Color Esposito, who's this very iconic villain from Breaking Bad TV show. And before that, we have the Canadian actor Michael Mando, who played as Vaz from Far Cry 3. Now, he's also the same actor who played as Nacho Varga in Better Call Saul as well as in Breaking Bad. And Vaz turned out to be one of the best villains in the history of video games. And now who better is to play as the next villain other than Cillian Murphy who played as one of the most iconic roles in Peaky Blinders. Now I'm super excited for this game and of course we got plenty of information and it seems like we're going to be getting a final review in the upcoming Ubisoft Forward event. Maybe we'll get to see the first ever cinematic trailer for the upcoming Far Cry 7 where we will finally get to take a first look at Cillian Murphy as the villain. Now, I'm super excited for it. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about the entire objective of this game having the 72 hours in order to save our family. We're going to be stripped to a time bomb. It seems like one of the best storylines of all time, if done right, that is. So, I would love to go ahead and hear your feedbacks regarding this game. And also, apart from this, it seems like we got some bad news when it comes to Watch Dogs because Ubisoft says that Watch Dogs Legion did not sell very well. So, this means that they're going to be shutting off the entire production of any future Watch Dogs game. This is very devastating for all the Watch Dogs fans. I myself, I was a huge fan of Watch Dogs and it's really sad, man. Like finally Ubisoft is letting go of the whole IP and it seems like they're not making enough money and that's probably why they chose to do this. Now, of course, they could always revive this and if I get any further information about this, I will update you guys on an entirely dedicated video about the next upcoming Watch Dogs game. On whether or not if it's gonna happen and what the situation is around 
found with Ubisoft related to Watch Dogs. I will keep you guys updated right here on this channel. Now, if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that covers all the latest and the greatest leaks, information, updates, news, reveals, trailers, and all the things that you guys need about upcoming games, then this channel is going to be your number one stop. So make sure that you guys are subscribed because it's absolutely free of cost to subscribe so you don't have to pay a dime in order to do it. So you win, I win, I get to build the community on this channel and you guys get to always stay updated. Now with that being said, if you guys could just take a few seconds of your valuable time and if you're excited for Far Cry 7 and Cillian Murphy being the villain, drop a big fat like on this video and show your boys some love and with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, take it easy fams and goodbye.